exciting piece about it is uh, we're going to get some new facilities. And uh, it doesn't matter whether from the academic standpoint, uh, athletic or fine arts or where you're at, I just think as a community member, as a school employee, or even as a student or student athlete, uh, whatever the case may be, it's exciting times. Because any time that you generate uh, new facilities or a new, hey, wow factor, mm -hmm. I think is always going to be crucial to success, whether it's academic, athletic, or even fine arts, uh, you know, your ratings all the way through. We want to be the school of choice. Uh, we want to make sure that we do some good things. And, and uh, I think with anything across, you want to strive for that perfection type of deal. Mm -hmm. Are you ever going to get perfect? No, you're not going to be. But if you strive and want to work hard at getting some things, I think good things are going to happen, both from an academic and also from an athletic and also fine arts activities-wise across the board. And I think that's what our community is looking for. We want to be the school of choice. Mm -hmm. And uh, just the initial stages as far as seeing drawings and seeing mm -hmm. 3D um, things, you know, things that the architects are coming from, it is exciting. And uh, that's what's really generating. We had a Tiger Vision uh, committee meeting last night uh, about some things. And we have very, some very passionate people here at Red right. Oak. And that's what's really fun to see is because some of those ideas from the people of the community, because this is their school. Yeah. This is a school. And we want to make sure that they understand that they have a, a voice in this entire factor. Is everybody getting what they need? Uh -huh. Absolutely not. I think that we would want, uh, say, an indoor practice facility for everything <laughs> that we have. But, you know, we're, we're not. Uh, that way we don't have that budget but we are granted some monies we are going to get a new school and we have to accept that fact but mm -hmm. we've got to work inside the confines as far as what is allocated and we are going to do that we're going to make sure that everything is is for our kids and mm -hmm. uh, that's the exciting pieces because that's why I got into the business is for kids yeah. and uh, if they see some exciting stuff I tell you what sky is the limit and uh, we're really excited here at Red Oak. So just staying with that, I mean, as of right now, and I know you still have some things to work on, yeah. but when, when this thing's finished up and all that, what's that going to look, I mean, from a other Hawkeye 10 fan or something coming yeah. in here once a year, twice a year, whatnot, what, what are they going to see differences and similarities here over the next few years? They're going to see a wow factor that says, what is Red Oak doing here that's yeah. uh, being successful? And I don't care whether it's the academic or the athletic or mm -hmm. the fine arts, they're going to see that, you know what, these guys have take, taken a proactive approach as far as, hey, what can we do as far as what Red Oak is doing? And uh, that's one of the things that when I first got here to Red Oak is we want to make sure that we, we spread our wings here a little bit. We want, to, we want to push and push and push to make sure that, you know what, we're doing everything in our power to advocate for kids, uh, to invest in our kids. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's one of the things I think our kids are starting to see right now from our coaching staff and also our teaching is we want to invest in you now. What can we do? If you see that we're investing in you, what kind of return are we going to mm -hmm. get for our investment? And we're seeing that return right now. Let's talk about these kids a little bit. Yeah. I mean, it's 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 been a good athletic year oh, uh, for Red Oak all the way around. Uh, I mean, let's just start with where we are right now and just kind of go through the seasons with, with how things are looking here and uh, what your kids have been up to. Well, in the springtime, I mean, naturally you got uh, our girls' tennis that has yeah. always been very, very successful. I mean, when you have, you know, 15, 16 straight uh, Hawkeye 10 mm -hmm. uh, championships, I mean, you're doing some awfully some good things there. And uh, I know we've got a tough task, you know, this mm -hmm. year to get, uh, you know, whether it's 16 or 17 straight, mm -hmm. you know, it's going to be a tough task. But uh, I know our kids are looking forward to it, and they're going to compete, and that's what's fun to see as far as our kids competing. I don't care what level you're at, just as long as you compete is going to be fine. Our boys are, are doing very, very well. They're 4-4, four and four, you know, in the Hawkeye 10 and uh, seeing some success right there. So our, our tennis program is off the ground, and I know that we mm -hmm. will continue on to the postseason as we continue. Our golf uh, program is off and running with the girls and boys and uh, seeing some success there. And, and uh, we're actually hosting the regionals here in Red Oak. Oh, yeah. at our country club and that's fun to see because when you have people from different types of areas that you want to showcase mm -hmm. you know whether it's your golf course and Daryl does a nice job up at the country club all the way down through we want to make sure that, and just like with that Tiger Vision, we want to be that school. We want to see, hey, wow, what are these guys doing here in Showcase? We don't ever want to push people away. We want to bring them in and uh, showcase that stuff because we do work very, very hard uh, throughout this community. You know, on our track, I mean, shoot, yeah. you see some successes as far as our individual 
Mm-hmm. We had some state qualifiers last year that returned this year. You know, Nikki Graber in the 400 that, mm-hmm. uh, you know, she ran at the state last year. Also, Kate Walker in the 1500 uh, last year as well. So, and, and I know that they're going to do some good things uh, this year regarding our district track. And we also have Josh Sundberg, who was mm-hmm. uh, a 3200 uh, place or state qualifier last year and also a mile qualifier last year. But we also have some seniors that are really pushing the envelope yeah. this year with Logan Lorette, mm-hmm. who has really dedicated himself you know, in the off season that says, you know what, I want to be at that state track, uh, track, track meet. And he is, uh, he's definitely working in our, in our relay teams. You know, we haven't been this close in a long time with our, uh, with our relay teams, you know, so you never know what happens during that district mm-hmm. track to say, Hey, you know, this is what's going to happen. So, you know, we're really excited about where we're going, where we're heading. And uh, it's just fun to see. You know, in the summertime, we have our baseball, softball. We hired two uh, brand-new head coaches in both programs. We're very excited for those guys as uh, Tristan Johnson, who is our head softball coach, is from Red Oak. Uh, He's brought some uh, high energy levels to the girls. We have more girls out this year than we had in the last past couple years. And so the numbers are going to be good. And I know that he's going to build it up. And he understands where we're at, but he also understands where we're going. And I think any time that you hire, you know, new coaches or even coaches on board, they have to understand what the vision is, what the mission is as far as the Red Oak Athletics, and they do. And they are all on board because it's all a team effort here. And that's what we're excited to see. And I know Coach Erickson, who's our head baseball coach who just got hired, is going to uh, bring uh, tremendous, tremendous high character qualities in our okay. young men. And uh, we've got some boys out that uh, are really, really excited. We've got uh, some good guys coming into the program that's going to generate some excitement. So we're really excited where we're going to be. I know that the word excitement comes up all the mm-hmm. time. But I think that's what you have to be. Yeah. You have to be excited about what you do and passionate about what you do because then the investment in the kids is going to come. Mm-hmm. And I think that's what you're seeing from a facility standpoint, from an athletic standpoint, and even fine arts from our band and our music. Yeah. I mean, it, it's, it's great all the way. And that's what you got to credit to the people here. Uh, the people of our community is absolutely generous. Uh, they're wonderful. They're easy to work with. And uh, couldn't be prouder to be a part of this community. Let's just keep going there and go to the, I mean, you, you, I mean, you've taken over the football program, done some good things with that. I mean, obviously what the girls have done, volleyball and basketball Absolutely. have been outstanding. Uh, I mean, take me through those sports. I mean, we're going to lose some seniors yeah. on both boys and girls that are going to be missed quite a bit. But, I mean, what do things look like fall and winter then? Well, I think any time, you know, it doesn't matter whether you're college or pro or anything else, you're always going to lose, mm-hmm. you know, some some valuable uh, uh, athletes. And uh, that's one of the things is you lose them, but in the exact same respects is what did they do for your program to help it build? And I think that's what we've seen in our right. seniors. Yeah. They're going to keep building, but it's also going to be that younger generation that's going to come up through the ranks that's going to look at the Kate Walkers, the Logan Lorettes, the Josh Sundbergs, uh, you know, and many, many others down the road that says, how can I be like those guys mm-hmm. and be successful? Mm-hmm. And I think we do have some at the middle school that want to do that. And even though that they leave, what are you going to do as far as your legacy behind? How are you going to be the high character quality, you know, and we've had that in Kate Walker. You know, just from uh, the way that she conducts herself on the court, uh, the volleyball court, you know, the basketball court, the track, the tennis, all the way through. Mm-hmm. It doesn't matter what she does. It's it, it's how she does it. And that's what's going to be the big beneficial factor. You know, if volleyball has been very, very successful, yeah. and even though that we're going to lose some, uh, we're going to gain some. And that's what's going to be the blessing throughout. And I know Coach Montgomery will have those girls going, mm-hmm. you know, in the summertime and also in the fall here. So, you know, it's going to be good across country. You know, was yeah. very successful last mm-hmm. year with uh, both boys and girls. And, and that's fun to see because that program's going to build. And uh, Coach Adams, Coach French are always going to, you know, have that high energy level. Uh, we, co- we had uh, the chance to hire Coach Adams, so, you know, not only from – the cross country aspect, but now get him into the track and mm-hmm. field, and that's been a, a been a big beneficial factor for us. So, uh, you know, we're seeing that program going to grow, and uh, you got to start somewhere, and that's yeah. what we're doing all the way through. So, you know, in our fall, you know, and sometimes I'm going to put myself on the very last brink of uh-huh. it, but uh, you know, our football program has. Uh, 
you know, a lot of times have struggled in the past, but it's where we're going is what's yeah. going to be the fun case about it. And, you know, you know as well as I do that we, we play in the Hawkeye 10, you know, in a lot of sports. We play in a very, very tough mm-hmm. district, you know, as far as football. But uh, our kids have been outstanding. I think our coaches have invested in our kids as far as equipment standpoint, from a fundraising standpoint. What is the best initial equipment that we can provide for our mm-hmm. kids, you know, to be top of the line? And then I go back to say, okay, we want to make sure that we are the leading pack. Wow, those guys look good. You know, those guys are playing hard. What is going on there that is going to uh, showcase, you know, the the uh, community of Red Oak? And I think that's what we're trying to do. Okay, we spotlight the kids. On. I want to put the spotlight on you a little bit, too. <laughs> I, I mean, this has been, I mean, you're finishing up year two. Yeah. Been just a crazy couple of years for you. I mean, I guess just take me through from when you were hired. I mean, primarily just be a teacher and a coach. Yeah. I mean, and now here you are. I mean, putting in many, many hours a day. And I mean, what's this been like for you and your family here these last couple of years, and then going forward into into the future here as well? Well, I, it, it's been a fast couple of years, that's for <laughs> sure. But uh, I think the credit goes uh, to my mother and my father. Uh, okay. They they have taught me the work ethics that I need to do to be successful. Uh, my sister has been successful. Uh, she works in Atlantic. Uh, she's high up on the chain okay. as far as at the Atlantic Hospital there. But uh, uh, I think all the credit goes to the world as far as what has been instilled in me as far as character qualities mm-hmm. and also work ethic. And, uh, you know, naturally what happens is you go away, you try to spread your wings a little bit, but it always draws you back. Mm-hmm. And that's what's happened to me being a Southwest Iowa kid. I want to be in Southwest Iowa. Mm-hmm. I want to raise my kids here. And that's what's fun to see. And, and the, the community of Red Oak has been open arms for me. And I and I met a lot of great people here. I love this town. I want to, I want this place to succeed as much mm-hmm. as anybody. And that's what we're going to do. But uh, you're right. I was hired as a teacher and a coach. And uh, all of a sudden, I, I don't think too many people knew I had my admin degree. And then mm-hmm. all of a sudden, you know, in, in, uh, J- in July, I had the opportunity to uh, – you know, step into the activities role and, hey, are you willing to do this? Absolutely, I am. Mm-hmm. You know, and I think that just shows the loyalty. If somebody asks you to do something for your school, mm-hmm. you know, or for your place of work, uh, I think sometimes it's it's very, very hard to say no uh, if you really, truly believe in mm-hmm. what you do. And uh, I said yes because of the people that I work with. I mean, I got a wonderful principal in Jeff Spots that mm-hmm. to, the working relationship that we have together is, you know, we laugh, we, we, mm. we joke around, you know, but we also know when it's time to get down to work and get serious about what we need to do for kids. And that's, uh, you don't find that too often. And uh, the, the staff here in the office, I mean, the ladies, you met the ladies yeah. here in the front, wonderful people to work with. And I think if you have that relationship, uh, sky's the limit. And uh, that's what I've been very, very blessed with. I mean, shoot, you go from a being assistant principal activities director to a head football coach to a head track coach. I mean, you got to have people around you yeah. that really support with what you're doing. And uh, I think the biggest benefit, uh, benefit uh, of my entire career is my wife. Mm-hmm. You can't, you can't uh, do, you know, stuff like this uh, without a very loving spouse. And I'm very, very fortunate. And, uh, you know, I love her to death, and just like with anything. And mm-hmm. uh, I got very, uh, I got four loving kids that, uh, you know, range from eighth grade all the way down to a year and a half. And um, they are my pride and joy. And sometimes people wonder how, you know, when do you get a chance <laughs> to spend some time with them? But uh, they also understand dad's job. You know, they also understand, yeah. hey, this is what he does. And when you have a family structure like that, mm-hmm. stemming from my wife or my kids that understand that, I think it's very, very powerful all the way through from the, the office staff here to your principal to your teaching staff from your coaches. Um, it's, been a, it's been a blessing. Anything else you want to make sure we get touched on? Or? Uh, well, I tell you, it, it's, it's been a fun time, you know, and okay. uh, we're going to continue to grow this thing, and uh, we're going to continue to push, but uh, a lot of good things are going to happen here, and uh, we're going to work very, very hard, especially in this office. That's for sure. You know, there's always going to be mistakes that are made. There's always going to be, but I tell you what, there's going to be a lot of things that are going to be positive. There's going to be a lot of things that uh, we're going to do to instill in our kids here at Red Oak High School and also Red Oak Middle School Mm -hmm. and also Red Oak Elementaries to make sure that we're very, very successful with what we do. It's not always going to be the case as far as wins and losses, but it's going to be also outside of the case as far as what's going to make the biggest beneficial factor from our life skills that we're going to uh, go ahead and promote, also from our um, 
uh, athletic piece, from our fine arts all the way through. We got great kids, we got great people, and we're going to continue to be that way.